I've never seen um, so many depressed and traumatised and disturbed children as I have in the two weeks that I spent there just now. Do you want to take a big breath? Annie Sparrow spent last weekend in tears. Tears shed for the hundreds of children detained at Woomera, where until just over a week ago she was employed to look after them. And tears for the wretched conditions she says she witnessed inside. I saw a 16-year-old who attempted to hang himself. I saw a 14-year-old girl who um, cut her wrists. And I saw another 14-year-old boy who tried to choke himself. When you walk through those barbed wire gates, um, you're sort of overwhelmed by this, this atmosphere, this aura of um, foreboding. There's this sense of, uh, of oppression and, and of um, people being essentially uh, just locked up um, in this incongruous place in the middle of the desert. Annie Sparrow, a paediatric registrar, and GP Paul Carroll spent only short periods working at Woomera. But it was long enough to convince both of them that it's no place for asylum seekers, least of all children. Now they're speaking publicly for the first time. I've never been to a more miserable place. When I went inside the compounds and looked at the rooms in which they live, which are very small, very cramped, there's no facilities for the children to play on and not even any basic grass for the children who are born in detention to learn to crawl or even walk on. It's difficult to understand why we have to um, make the conditions so unpleasant um, and from what I saw from the people that I looked after while I was there, their health deteriorates while they're there. I think when people speak about women and children in detention um, there are fairly simplistic views that are developed in relation to how you might deal with those questions. Uh, none of us like to see uh, uh, women and particularly children, particularly very young children, in a detention environment. Um, and uh, the fact is that we do put in place very careful management plans in relation not only to uh, uh, families but also in relation to uh, uh, unaccompanied minors, of which there are 40 um, in detention at the moment. Last week, members of a federal government advisory committee visited Woomera to see firsthand conditions inside. They gave the centre a tick and found that detainees have good food, plenty of clothing and air-conditioned accommodation, claims that Annie Sparrow and Paul Carroll dispute. I'm not sure how they came to those conclusions because that certainly wasn't the conclusions I came to when I was there. Um, my understanding is things are worse, if anything, than they were when I was there. Um, and certainly I didn't agree with any of the comments that I read of their assessment of the way these people were treated. It's not until you go inside the compounds and see how they live and eat with them in the mess, as I have done, and eat their food, which I think is far from adequate. Um, and see their quarters, which are degrading places to live in, and understand that they really have... Um, they really have a, a simply desperate way of living there. Those in the detention centres are well fed. They are properly housed, given the circumstances, and clothed. There is very high-quality medical attention available to them. And um, uh, in those circumstances, we are clearly discharging our humanitarian obligations in any suggestion that we are not it. Those suggestions are wrong. The volatile situation inside Woomera escalated even further at the weekend, with claims that as many as 370 detainees are on a hunger strike, a situation so serious that even the Red Cross, a strictly neutral and apolitical organisation, broke its usual silence to voice its concern. We have considerable concerns for the welfare of people who are clearly very vulnerable in those centres right now. We make no judgement as to the whys or the wherefores. That's not Red Cross's job. That's not our international mandate either. I thought the uh, advertisement in the Red Cross conspicuously fell short uh, of expressing a view uh, on the veracity or otherwise uh, of the policy, but there are a variety of views in the Australian community on this issue. I mean, I noted in the Australian newspaper today a former Chief Justice of the High Court of Australia very strongly supporting uh, the government's uh, policy. For all the distress they've witnessed at Woomera, Annie Sparrow and Paul Carroll won't rule out going back. 
But for now, their main concern is to correct what they say are negative misconceptions about asylum seekers in the broader community. Most of them are normal people like you and me and just under extraordinary circumstances. I don't think that if you put a subset of Australian children inside detention, they would do as well on the whole of the, that, as these children have done.